All right, welcome to another episode on Prime Logic. If you want to solve this problem, please pause the video because I'm going to solve this problem right now. What is the value of this? 12 divided by 3 quarters or 3 over 4 times 2. The answer is not 8, obviously. So before that, let's talk about something interesting. The thing that I want to teach you once and forever. So whenever you see different types of operations, so then you are not as scared. The thing that I want to teach you is called PAMDAS. PAMDAS, okay? So let's talk about it. PEMDAS stands for parentheses. So let me just write it down here. So PEMDAS stands for parentheses at first. Parenthesis. E stands for exponents or exponentials or exponents. Exponents. M stands for multiplication, multiplication. D stands for division. A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. So parentheses, whenever you see this, exponents, for example, a to the power of b, or even radicals or square roots, for example, multiplication. So whenever you see this sign, division, when you see this sign, or even fractions, a over b, addition, when you see this sign, and subtraction or minus when you see this sign. So this is the order of operation, okay? So, but... But one, one thing first, uh, it doesn't mean that multiplication comes before division. Because here, a lot of students think, okay, so if we have parentheses, for example, do we have parentheses? Do we have exponents? Okay, so let's go for multiplication, then go for division. So that's the mistake they make here. At first, some students would say, okay, multiplication comes before division in PEMDAS, then we can do this thing, these two terms together, and then go for the first part. For example, they would say 3 over 4 times 2, it is uh, 3 over 2. So 12 divided by 3 over 2, it is 8. So 8 is not the answer. So 8 is not the answer because the student made a mistake and did multiplication before division. No, it doesn't work that way. Multiplication and division have the same priority. So repeat after me. Multiplication and division have the same priority. They are done. They are processed from left to right. Addition and subtraction, they have the same priority. So when operations have the same priority, you always go left to right, left to right, like in this way, to right. So whenever you see uh, a division sign here and then multiplication, first division and then multiplication. But parentheses are powerful, but only when they are uh, actually existing. So you are never allowed to invent parentheses because it changes everything. It changes everything. So once you truly understand PEMDAS, you can easily go for any sort of operation, any operation that you see. So obviously you can solve this right now. It's very easy, but let's think it's even uh, more interesting is talking about PEMDAS and giving you some examples with, for example, parentheses or no parentheses. So for example, example four, we will come back to the real question, but it's great to know. So please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is once and forever uh, teaching and this type of things for you. So once you learn it, you, you will always remember. So uh, give me the value of this, two plus three plus, sorry, uh, times, Four, two plus three times four. 
So think about it for a couple of seconds. There is no parenthesis. We have addition, we have multiplication. So multiplication has a higher priority. So at first we should say three times four, it's 12. Two plus 12 is 14. That's the correct answer. The wrong answer would be, for example, if a student say two plus three, five, five times four, 20. This is not correct, but it changes everything if we put two plus three inside parentheses and then times four. Now parentheses have a higher priority than multiplication. You remember PEMDAS, so P stands for parentheses. P is the first letter. It has the highest priority. So when you see this one, then you should solve whatever is inside the brackets or the parentheses. Two plus three it is five, right? So five times four is 20. Now this is correct. In the first part, there was no parentheses. You were not allowed to add parentheses. Let's go, for example, for exponents. Exponents, maybe like two plus three to the power of two. So what is value? The value at first. Exponents are first. They have higher priority than addition, subtraction, or anything. So three to the power of two is nine. So two plus nine is 11. And that's it. Let's go for maybe another example. What about this? Two plus three, the whole thing to the power of two. So in that case, we have exponents and we have parentheses. So parentheses have the highest priority. Two plus three, it is five, right? So five to the power of two, it is 25. Let's go maybe for another example. What about this? Four times, now instead of addition, four multiply it by two to the power of three. What about this part? So we have multiplication and then we have the exponent. So you remember PAM does E stands for exponent. So whenever you see exponents, do the exponents first. Two to the power, two to the power of three, it is eight. Four times eight, it is 32. That's uh, the, the answer. Let's go for example for mm, this one. So let's add some multiplication and division. So what about this? So think about it for some seconds. 10 divided by 2 times 5, which is kind of similar to our original problem. So left to right. So we have two operations, multiplication and division, but they have the same priority. We go from whatever we see from left to right. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times 5, 25. You can't say 2 times 5 is 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. No, 1 is not the answer. Okay, so let's go for another example. Let's make it a little bit more beautiful. So 10 divided by 2 times 5. What about this? That's the same thing I just put some parentheses around 2 times 5. So parentheses change everything. Parentheses have the highest priority. At first, we need to do whatever is inside the parentheses. So 2 times 5, now 2 times 5 is 10. 10 divided by 10, it is just 1. That's the answer. Let's go maybe for some fractions. Fractions are divisions. So for example, what about this? 4 divided by or divided by one half times two. So again, we have uh, division, multiplication. Okay, that's uh, the same thing. It doesn't matter if that's a fractional fraction or something. So do whatever uh, you see from the left to right. So the, the first thing. So four divided by uh, one half. So just a quick note here. If you want to uh, divide by a fraction, you should multiply by its reciprocal. So four divided by one half is the same thing as four times reciprocal. It means change the upper side and the lower uh, side. So four times two over one and then times two. So now four times two from left to right. 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So the point was here, uh, uh, div division by fractions. So you should multiply by its reciprocal. Let's do maybe some 
additions and subtractions so that you will learn everything from PEMDAS. So the question was not that important. PEMDAS is important. Let's go for example this this part. 20 minus 5 plus 3. Okay. So left to right we have subtraction, we have addition. PAM does. So addition comes first in PAM does, but in reality, no. So for example, you can say, okay, 12 minus, uh, mm, okay, uh, 5 plus 3, it is 8, and then 20 minus 8 is 12. 12 is not the answer. You should go from left to right. 20 minus 5 is 15 plus 3, 18, okay? So whenever you see addition, subtraction, go from left to right. They have the same priority, just go from left to right. Let's go for another example. So 30 minus 10 minus 5, okay? So left to right, very easy. Both signs are, both operations are the same. So 30 minus 10, it's 20 minus 5, it's 15, okay. Let's go for maybe another example. Let's do maybe a combined uh, example. Uh, okay, what about this? Think about it for a second. So three, maybe divided by or maybe plus, six divided by two to the power of two times Four. So I try to add most of the signs here. So Pam does. Pam does. Do we have a P here? Parentheses? Here, no. Let's go for exponents, for example. Do we have exponent? Yes, here we have the exponent. So two to the power of two is four at first at first. So we can write it as three plus six divided by four and then times four. Okay, now what? We have uh, divided by four and times four. Now what? Division, multiplication. So they have higher priority than uh, addition or any other uh, operation in this example. So at first, what, whatever comes first, division, multiplication, go from left to right. So six divided by four, divided by four is, uh, six divided by four is 1.5. And then uh, 1.5 times 4 is 6, right? So 3 plus 6 equals 9. That would be 9, which is uh, the answer here. So, for example, if you had uh, brackets then, just imagine we had brackets, 3 plus 6. Okay, now brackets or parentheses have the highest priority. Then you would need to do this one. So 3 plus 6. Uh, 9, and then we have the exponents, 9 uh, divided by 4 times 4. Okay, interesting. So uh, make sure to drop your answer in the comments below. And now let's go for our final problem. The first problem actually that was 12 divided by 3 quarters. So 12 divided by 3 quarters times something, times 2. Okay. Division, multiplication from left to right. So 12 divided by 3 quarters. That's a fraction. We can say uh, 12 times 4, the reciprocal, right? Times 4 over 3 times 2. Then from left to right. So 12 times 4 over 3, that's uh, 16 times 2 is 32. That's the final answer. Make sure to drop your thoughts and answer in the comments below. Please like the video if you haven't already and see you on our next video on Prime Logic.